everyone, I'm Autumn Hurd and this is my ceremonial speech video blog reflection. First, I'm going to reflect a little bit on the entire semester, not just the ceremonial speech. So, first, I, I think I advanced in speech this semester by being a little bit more calmer in front of people and this camera like I'm doing. Um, I definitely get super nervous when I talk in front of any kind of amount of people just because I want um, to make sure that I'm saying the right things to make sure that it makes sense and you know you don't want to say something that's bad and they take it the wrong way so it's just kind of that gives me nerves. I also learned um, the, the whole structure and template of doing a speech. I had never really done that specific thing before. I had taken a speech class but it wasn't exactly like that. So that was really handy to be able to see, you know, your you had your oral citations and then your first, second, and third you had to use throughout the whole thing and you had internal reviews. That was definitely really good for me to learn. Um, I think that the most uh, interesting and important concept I learned was actually in the chapter two, way at the beginning, um, on speech anxiety. For me, like I said, I get nervous. So for me, um, being able to like read something and understand why I get nervous or what's happening or how I can combat that, that's really important for me to just be able to read it. And so that was really handy. I really liked um, learning about that. So chapter two was definitely great for me. And then um, for the entire course, I honestly wouldn't change a whole lot, actually. It went pretty well. I mean... <laughs> I didn't want to give any of the speeches, but that's kind of the whole point of speech class. So you can't really stop doing that. Uh, yeah, so honestly, I don't really think I would change a whole lot. I think that maybe I would change, because um, when, I, when I put in my rough draft and then I got back my rough draft, I was already starting on my speech. So it seemed like it was like a little bit overlapping, but it could be because that's just on the computer. I really don't know. So I don't, yeah, I wouldn't really change a whole lot. I think it went pretty well. So now for my ceremonial speech part. Um, the purpose of this speech was to honor someone, some particularly famous person, and I chose Serena Williams, the champion tennis player, because my family um, plays tennis and we've been watching tennis since I can't even remember. So yeah, that I really wanted to honor her. And yeah, my technology was adequately prepared. I used my video camera again with my tripod. We, I have some weird issue with putting my videos from my video camera to the computer for some reason. They don't like to upload. It took me like three tries, but I got it uploaded. So that was fine. Um, the in, in structure of it, like I said, I learned it this semester, so yay. And fun fact, I managed to remember internal reviews and stuff, and it, it kind of came more natural to me this time. Yay! Especially since this is the first time that's happened. So, woo! Um, and then, I guess, uh, how did I connect with my uh, um, audience through Pathos? Well, I made sure to connect her to me in some way, not just saying, there's this famous person and I want to say what good job she did. So I was, I connected her to me and my family, how we always watch her on TV and we play tennis. So it's really fun to watch her. Also, I talked about how Serena Williams, the person I was honoring, did a lot of stuff with like children. She had lots of charities and she actually went to Africa and helped fund these schools. So I connected them with um, a lot of things, a lot of thing that, one thing that a lot of people are um, uh, in, uh, empathetic will with, I guess, because like little kids in Africa, everybody is always like, you know, they're aware of them and there's always things to help them. So I used pathos that way. Um, honestly, I think that my ceremonial speech went pretty well. I really enjoyed doing this one. It seemed a little bit easier to me than all the rest of them because it was somebody that I really wanted to learn more about. So, thanks for the great semester. It was great, and I'm super happy that it all went really well. So, thanks, guys.